Hey guys, welcome to Jam Pansy Percussion. If you're new to this channel, I just want to say welcome, and I'm so excited to have you join us. Now, if you read the name of the title, I'm sure you know what this video is all about. I'm going to be making a giveaway today. So before we get to the actual giveaway, I'm going to go ahead and answer a few questions that you guys asked me. All right, let's go ahead and read the first question. The first question is from... Puga the Chef. All right, let's see what Puga asked. Puga the Chef asked, waffles or pancakes? I gotta think. Waffles or pancakes? Well, I really enjoy chicken and waffles, but that's two things. That's not just waffles. But I enjoy pancakes too. Now, when I eat pancakes, I like to have different types of pancakes, like banana pancakes, strawberry pancakes and you know just so many different macadamia pancakes you know there's just so many different types of pancakes man that's a tough one i think since i like to go to cracker barrel a lot i really enjoy the pancakes in it they make just because their pancakes are the absolute best if you haven't tried them i recommend that you go ahead and check those pancakes out now, just so you know, this video is not sponsored by Cracker Barrel, but I honestly, I recommend you check those out. All right, let's go on to our next question. Our next question is, what has inspired you to keep on teaching percussion? Man, for this question, I would have to say the students. The reason why I would say the students are the reason why I would keep on teaching percussion is because I see the joy in almost all of my students. Whenever I'm teaching them indoor drum line or I'm teaching them a few percussion ensembles or just technique exercises, I can see that they're really digging what I'm teaching them and I can see them practicing and you know, I just have a lot of fun with the students going out to contests and all that other stuff. So I would say it's you guys. And that's also the reason why I started this YouTube channel because you guys are the reason why I love to teach percussion. All right, let's get on to the next question. This question is from Enzo. Oh, Enzo. Enzo is asking, can I play snare for indoor? Well, Enzo, he put me in a bubble. I would say you can't play snare for indoor, but have you developed your skills as a percussionist? Now, the reason I'm saying that is I know Enzo. Enzo's a trumpet player. Enzo's been drumming around a little bit and he's actually picking up snare drum pretty well. Without a doubt, there's different organizations that will definitely take you in to play their indoor drumline program. Now, it's all going to depend on how well your skills are developed. Now, if you audition for a program and your skills are like really, really well advanced, then by all means, go ahead and join an indoor program show and try out for their snare line. All right, now let's get to our next question. This one is from Keely Coco. The question is, what made you want to be a band director? Okay, this takes me back. And the reason why this takes me back is because I wanted to be a band director ever since I was an eighth grader. So thinking back, I wanted to become a band director because I just had a passion for music. What inspired me to pursue music was my older brother. My older brother was nine years older than me, and by the time I got into middle school, I just I looked up to him. I wanted to be just like him, go to the same high school, and so on and so forth. And so when I started pursuing music, I just found the same passion. And it wasn't just to meet up the expectations that my older brother had, but it was because I just enjoyed music. I really enjoyed being a part of my indoor drum line. And actually, there's one memory that really sold me on being a band director. It was when I was a freshman in high school and I was playing this piece called The Overture to Candy. When I was playing this piece, I was playing the bell part. Now, the bell part wasn't the most exciting bell part. Now, just getting to see how that bell part fit in with the rest of the band just really got me into the music. And in fact, every time I was playing it, I wasn't just playing notes and rhythms, but in fact, I really got into like the musicality of it. And so I got my body involved as I was playing that part and I made it sound as musical as I could. So if it wasn't for that piece and my band director back when I was in high school, I would have probably not wanted to be a band director. 
So let's go on to the next question. This next question is from Hollier Riley. What is one thing that has kept you progressing in percussion? I would say the one thing that has really kept me going on and pursuing music has been just seeing different types of music and getting to play music overall. I enjoy taking a challenge. Whenever I see challenging music, whether it's a marching snare drum, a tenor part, or even a formal marimba piece, I want to make sure that I'm able to play it as best as possible. I'm not just going to learn a piece of music just to get through it and just leave it there, but I want to take a piece of music and just find the in-depth meaning of why the composer wrote that piece of music. Okay, let's get on to the next question. Our next question is from Aiden Garcia, 2399. This question is, what are your top five drum cores? Oh man, there's so many different drum cores out there. So let me start with number five. I would have to say my fifth top drum core would be the Cadets. My number four top drum core would be Carolina Crown. After that, I would say Phantom Regiment. Now my two top drum cores would be the Blue Coats and the Blue Devils. Both of these groups are probably my all-time favorites, and I just like watching them out in the lot. But if I had to pick my top drum core, I would have to say the Blue Devils. I don't know, there's just something about the Blue Devils. And in fact, back when I was in high school, my high school band director marched Blue Devils himself. And so ever since I was there, he would really like talk about the Blue Devils and bring them up. And back then, when I was in high school, the Blue Devils were always first place. And so, the Blue Devils have always had a place in my heart. Okay, let's see what else we got. This question is from GK Matul. His question is, can I be section leader? Well, I'm going to have to say no. I'm just messing with you. It's all going to depend on what leadership skills you're going to show and how well of a player you are or can be in the future. So to be section leader, you want to demonstrate a lot of leadership skills. You want to make sure that you're enforcing sectionals. You want to be pushing those around you in a positive way. You want to make sure that you're there practicing with them. And if anybody ever has a question, they want to come to you and know that you can help them whenever a band director's not around. Now, a band director is also looking for a person to step it up all the time. You know, always being there early at rehearsal and checking in with the rest of the percussion section. So, for you, GK Matul, I would say it's possible to be section leader. It's all just gonna depend on what traits you have. Do you have a drive for music? Do you wanna be the best that you can be? And do you inspire those around you? Now, if your answer is yes to all of those and you continue to improve, and your director sees you improving, then I say, why not? You can also be section leader. I would just wait till the next season and try out to be a section leader. All right, let's look at the next question. We have quite a few more questions. This one is from Minecraft Kid Gamer 6969. It says, have you seen my son? Well, I gotta say, I don't know who your son is, so I would say no. Okay. All right, I got a few more questions from Puga the Chef. This one is, what is your favorite instrument to play? Now, I have quite a few different instruments I love to play. So back when I was in college and I was learning how to play all these instruments, one of the instruments that I really liked to play was the flugelhorn. Now the flugelhorn, it's like a mixture of a mellophone and a trumpet. And it has this nice and warm sound. And now this flugelhorn is used a lot in jazz. So I would say the flugelhorn is one of my favorite wind instruments to play. Now if I had to pick an instrument that pertains to percussion, I would say bass drum. And not just like the regular concert bass drum, but a marching bass drum. Back when I was in high school, I played bass two for three years. And I really, really enjoyed playing bass drum. There's a lot of really cool parts, a lot of sick licks, especially playing threes and fours on upbeats. And it just, 
you know, there, there's just so many different combinations that base two and even base three gets. But bass drum two is my all-time favorite marching instrument to play. All right, I'm gonna pick maybe just one more question and we'll go ahead and get started into our giveaway. Let's see. Hmm. This question says, where did I grow up as a child or teen? Well, I grew up in a city called Brownsville, Texas. If you don't know where the city is located, it's actually the most southern city in all of Texas. So it's at the very tip of Texas. Now, it's kind of funny because when I recall my elementary school, I remember going out to play Reese's and I would actually see a huge gate that divided both the US and Mexico. So I would go out and play in the playground and I was always wondering what are those big giant pillars? Now as I'm older, I'm like, man, it's crazy because I didn't know how close I actually lived to Mexico. And actually, I used to travel to Mexico back when I was younger. I don't do that anymore now that I live in Houston, but I grew up in Brownsville, Texas, down south in the valley. All right, guys, let's get to the moment that you all have been waiting for, the giveaway. So I got a jar with a bunch of you guys' names who entered in this drawing. So I'm gonna go ahead and get a few of these out. Okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and randomly pick one of these names. All right, let's get these all going a little bit. Let's mix them up. All right, and so our winner for this giveaway is gonna be... Zitdil. Congratulations, Zitdil. Thank you for entering in this drawing. You have now won two pairs of drumsticks, the JM1s and the JM2 by Solar's Percussion. Well guys, that's all I have for today. Now if you still have any other questions or any suggestions about videos, please comment below. Now if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe to keep up to date on any new videos I will be posting. Thanks for watching and don't forget to have fun.